coming into the session, a gang of stocks are trading above their 200-day moving average. In fact, major indices, 92% of the S&P 500, 90% of the NASDAQ 100, 89% of the Russell 2000, 81% of the NASDAQ composite, all over the 200-day moving average. Is this momentum enough to keep this party going? You know, Ryan, of course, upside momentum, for whatever reason, uh, is a good reason for a lot of people to buy. Should we even be thinking about fighting the tape? Uh, and should we be kind of just focused on riding the wave? Yeah, you can't invest in the future, Charles, in the future, right? We already know this vaccine's coming. We're going to have a billion doses plus in the first quarter of this year coming up. And that's really going to bode well for what I would call like a mini economic boom sometime at the end of next year. So to really play that trend, we just talked about it, dividend paying stocks, the reopening trade, it's a real thing. And I think that's where money needs to funnel into because there's been so much money going into that momentum play and valuation can only go up so much. But in the meantime, if you look at valuations on energy stocks, just mentioned financials, I think are great. They're all really, really cheap here, even though they're starting to move. And they've outperformed the S&P now for the last four weeks. So I really think that's where money needs to start getting concentrated and do it now, because once the economy's reopened, it's way too late. Ryan, you liking any of these names, the cybersecurity names or some of these others? I mean, I think a lot of this stuff, this good news is out on a lot of these stocks already. And the fact that we say that our clients like them, that always makes me a little bit nervous. And again, I'm all about that anti-chump uh, trade there, Charles. I'm all about it as well. So I really <laughs> think, I can't emphasize it enough, don't be a chump and start looking at the reopening of the economy. That trade has so much more runway right now. And that's the beauty of it, right? You have the tail of two markets. You've got the overvalued growth names, and even PayPal, if you look at, you know, done phenomenal this year, because we're obviously doing so many more things online with transactions, but it's up you know, 115% this year. And it's got a 15, you know, times, or 50 times forward earnings, whereas I can go out and I can buy, you know, like financial names at 12, 13 times forward earnings. I mean, where's the value right now? It's got to be in that reopening trade.